Hello there, my fellow belligerent mushrooms, and welcome to another episode of Greenskin's Lore, where we talk about one of the unique casts of Orc Warriors. By that, I'm referring to the sneakiest and one of the deadliest kinds of orcs, aka the Commandos. In this video, we are gonna find out a bit about these guys, how they fight, their war gear, and a few notable members and units of their kind. I am your host, the green-skinned narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about them, shall we? A commando is a specialist orc boy who prefers to rely on so-called cunning tricks, instead of fighting his opponents head-on like most other greenskins. Commandos serve as the orcs' infiltrators and assassins, are masters of sabotage and the art of stealth, ambush, unconventional tactics, and striking at the opponent from a totally unexpected direction. The life of an orc is a life of constant warfare, and luckily for the other inhabitants of the Milky Way galaxy, orcs spend most of their time fighting among each other, with battle devolving into massive bouts of close quarters fighting. To an orc, the best fighting is always up close and personal, and usually involves chopping the opponent to bits. Orc commandos are those rare greenskins who disdain this cornerstone of orc culture. A commando epitomizes the orc virtue of low cunning. Nothing makes a commando happier than creeping up on an unsuspecting enemy, his fellow commandos slithering through the undergrowth at his side. When the time is right, the commandos will burst from their concealment, slashing, stabbing, and shooting their prey before they have a chance to strike back. Orc commandos are said to be the boys touched by Mork, and emulate that orcish god's tendency towards cunning, aka resorting to dirty tricks first, and open combat second. Unlike the average orc boy who enjoys loud weapons, big explosions, and loud vehicles, commandos prefer spreading panic behind enemy lines before launching a perfectly timed ambush. Commandos put on camouflage and make use of cover, favor stealth, espionage, guerrilla warfare, and other unconventional methods of killing their foes. On the field of battle, commandos will assassinate enemy sentries, destroy gun emplacements, blow up fuel depots and ammunition stacks, and generally do as much damage as they can in an opponent's vulnerable areas. A rarity among the usually simplistic and simple-minded boys, commandos prize intelligence and initiative, as well as base cunning and the hunter's instinct. Commandos also value reconnaissance and planning ahead, and the Inquisition's Ordo Xenos has been horrified in receiving reports that Orc Commandos are able to both speak and even read low Gothic. Although the methods used by the Commandos are crude compared to other races' special forces, they are efficient enough to wreak major havoc, for few of the Orc's opponents ever consider that Greenskins will come up with anything other than a full frontal assault. The horrified look on the faces of the enemy, who assume that they would be able to see the orcs coming miles away, is tremendously rewarding for the members of a commando mob. Commandos are most often found among members of the orcs' Blood Axis clan, who also prize planning and cunning due to their prolonged cultural contact with Imperial humans. Commandos are viewed with suspicion and looked down upon by most of orcish society who overwhelmingly believe that sneaky stuff is not orky. Most orcs consider the idea of hiding from sight or silently creeping through cover a waste of time, if not straight out cowardly. What they don't understand is that commandos like a good fight just as much as the next orc. Only they know how to get in close without getting shot in the face. There is no greater pleasure for a commando than making a good surprise attack. That split second as horror spreads across the victim's face, worth all those hours of crawling through the mud. Commando small unit specialists do not usually mingle with other orcs, and sometimes even exile themselves from their warband, tribe, or clan for months at a time, or even permanently. 
yet no war boss in his right mind would refuse their service, for their methods of stealth combat give the Ava boys a better chance of reaching the enemy line unscathed. It is common for each commando to have a specialist role within the mob, and to possess a nickname appropriate to his role, such as Fireboy or Throat Slit. Their unusually organized and militaristic outlook for orcs means that young storm boys often develop into commandos instead of rejoining the right-thinking orc boys at the heart of the tribe. Storm boys I haven't actually covered yet, but if you don't know what they are, they're pretty much the orc equivalent of assault marines or troopers with a jump jet. Not for them is the thrill of a massed charge or a turbo-powered race to the front line in a rickety battle wagon. Instead, a commando gets his enjoyment from slitting throats and spreading panic behind enemy lines before launching a perfect ambush. These scare tactics are epitomized by Snickrot of the Red Skull Commandos, whose name is by now a byword for terror on Armageddon. The tools of the commando trade are unusually subtle by orc standards. Commandos use suit-blackened blades and camouflage-style war paint, painting their skins with stripes of blood, dirt and dung so that they can blend in with their surroundings. Some commandos are even more inventive with their camouflage, attaching foliage to their uniforms or even employing cunning disguises. Common commandos equip themselves with a good slugger, a better chopper, and stick bombs. A couple of commandos will sometimes carry around a heavy weapon, be it a big shooter, burner, or rocket launcher, granting the mob some firepower to deal with unexpected resistance or a vehicle. The commando's knob will have his own personalized war gear, with many commando knobs favoring a power claw which allows them to rip open a way through a wall or a vehicle's armor quickly. All commandos renounce any form of armor heavier than simple hide jackets, as such heavy and cumbersome protection would be far too ungainly and noisy to infiltrate successfully. A couple of noteworthy actions undertaken by commandos include The Big Raid the Blood Axes of Wa Grog tell of a story about the greatest commando attack ever, known as the Big Raid. It happened on the world of Vor Senar, when Wa Grog smashed into the edges of the Tau Empire. Freebooter raids on the Tau planet had been previously repulsed by a huge alien warship with more Daka than anything in the Orc fleet called the Korst La by the Tau, and the big Daka ship by the Orcs, it stalked the space lanes around Vor Senar, annihilating anything that trespassed on the Tau Empire. The Korst La's only weakness was that it needed to use a huge orbital dock around Vor Senar to refuel and rearm. While Grog knocked the heads of the freebooter captains together, trying to get access to a large enough fleet to storm the Tau planet, a mob of Blood Axe commandos came up with a cunning plan. They would attack the orbital docks while the Korst La was away, wrecking the Tau station and denying the warship a place to repair and rearm. The commandos set out in a looted Tau transport, using captured coast to approach the Vorsenar dockyard, under the pretense of having been damaged in an orc raid. The Tau were initially suspicious of the lone vessel limping into their void station, but every demand for identification was met with a satisfactory response, and the idea that orcs could undertake such a ruse was unthinkable to the Tau. It was a horrific surprise when the vacuum seals opened and orc commandos poured out into the station. By the time the Tau had mustered a force to repel the invaders, the commandos had reached the station's reactor. Smashing it to scrap, they set off a chain reaction, dooming the station and allowing Wa Grog to ransack the planet and ultimately the entire sector. The Great Titan Heist The Forge world of Kanto II was left badly weakened by a Tyranid splinter fleet. Sensing opportunity, 
the Blood Axis warboss Mardrug sent a crack team of commandos and mechboys to steal the warlord class titan Wrath of Cassiopeia amid the chaos of the planet's recovery. The commandos shoot their way aboard the titan and their attendant mechs manage to jumpstart its reactor. However, the orcs have no way of controlling the Wrath of Cassiopeia's indignant machine spirit. Disoriented and enraged, the Titan goes on a devastating rampage across the planet, before overloading its own reactor. The Commando's mission is a failure, but the devastation caused to a vital forge world is substantial, affecting supply to many war zones for a long period of time. And finally, a few words about arguably the most famous Commando leader. Snickrot, also called Boss Snickrot and Snickrot the Stalker, is a vicious and skilled orc commando. He has led the company of orc special forces known as the Red Skull Commandos within the equatorial jungles of the Imperial Hive World of Armageddon. He earned particular infamy among Imperial forces for conducting a vicious guerrilla campaign during the Second and Third Wars for Armageddon. Skilled and resourceful, he has become the local boogeyman of the human population, who pray to the Emperor at night to protect them from Snickrot and his Red Skulls. During the bitter fighting amid Armageddon's vast jungles, even the Katakan Orc Hunters learn to fear Boss Snickrot and his Red Skull Commandos above anything else. Such were their stealth skills and unusual levels of discipline that the Red Skulls would even refrain from firing their weapons so as to not give away their position. This allowed them to creep closer to their quarry before launching their ambush, a tactic all but unheard of among the Greenskin race. The Blood Fangs, Bullrags Fight in Fifth, and Kraga's Camo Boys were also elite commando units which earned renown during the wars on Armageddon. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about Orc Commandos for today. Would you choose this career path if you were an Orc? Let me know and discuss in the comments below. Was this video enjoyable or informative? In that case, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for future content. I thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all a very orky day. The Emperor Protects.